Welcome to the Trends Hub, bringing you the latest news from around the world. The first signs were subtle, a tremor in the deep. Then, the ocean itself seemed to boil. Fishermen miles away felt their boats rock violently, not from waves, but from a colossal shudder beneath them. News channels flashed urgent alerts. Massive underwater volcano erupts, screamed one headline. Another read, tsunami warnings across Pacific Basin. The deep ocean, so often out of sight and out of mind, had just reminded us of its immense untamed strength. The Pacific Ocean. It's vast, isn't it? Covering more than a third of the Earth's surface. Most days it looks peaceful, a shimmering expanse of blue under the sun. But beneath that calm surface, incredible forces are at work. Tectonic plates grind against each other. Underwater mountains, volcanoes taller than any on land, rise from the abyssal plains. This ocean is a sleeping giant. And sometimes that giant stirs in its sleep with devastating consequences for those on its shores. The pressure at the bottom is immense enough to crush a human like an insect. Yet life thrives there, in the cold and the dark. The Pacific holds secrets we are only just beginning to uncover. Its currents drive global weather patterns. But this same ocean so vital for life on Earth can also be an agent of destruction. It can transmit the energy of an earthquake or a volcanic eruption across thousands of miles, delivering tsunamis to unsuspecting coastlines. Respect for the ocean is paramount for survival. The eruption sent shockwaves through the water, forming a tsunami. For the islands of Tonga, nestled in the South Pacific, it was a direct hit. The first sign was the sea pulling back, exposing reefs and the ocean floor in an unnatural way. Then, the wave arrived. Not a gentle swell, but a wall of black water, churning with debris, moving with incredible speed and force. The aftermath in Tonga was heartbreaking. Islands once green and vibrant were now coated in a thick layer of volcanic ash and mud. The people of Tonga, resilient as they are, faced an immense challenge, rebuilding their lives, their homes, their communities from the ruins left by the ocean's fury. The volcano responsible for this chaos erupted near the Challenger Deep, the very deepest known point in the Earth's oceans. We're talking about depths of nearly 7 miles or 11 kilometers. Imagine the pressure down there, over a thousand times greater than at sea level. For a volcano to erupt with such violence in this environment is a testament to the immense geological power involved. Superheated magma at over a thousand degrees Celsius met freezing seawater. The result? A colossal explosion of steam, ash, and volcanic rock. Pumice, a lightweight volcanic rock filled with gas bubbles, would have shot towards the surface, forming vast rafts on the ocean. This wasn't just a small fissure. This was a major breach in the Earth's crust. Scientists believe this volcano had been building towards this moment for decades, if not centuries. The sheer volume of material ejected was staggering, enough to create a new island or significantly alter the existing seabed. The location near the Challenger Deep adds another layer of significance. This is one of the least explored places on Earth. The moment the underwater volcano erupted, its immense power sent shockwaves not just through the water, but through the Earth itself. Seismometers across the globe registered a massive event originating from a remote part of the Pacific. Hydrophones, underwater microphones also picked up the deafening roar of the eruption, a sound that traveled thousands of miles through the ocean depths. The eruption column, a mixture of ash, steam, and gas, shot tens of thousands of feet into the atmosphere. Aviation authorities immediately issued warnings, rerouting flights to avoid the dangerous ash, which can clog jet engines. The energy released by the eruption was colossal, equivalent to many hundreds of atomic bombs. Tsunami warnings were issued for countries across the Pacific Basin, from Japan to New Zealand, from Alaska to South America. Coastal communities were put on alert, some even ordering evacuations. Beyond the immediate physical dangers, the eruption had other global impacts. Undersea communication cables, vital for global internet and data transfer, could have been damaged. The event spurred a flurry of scientific research. Understanding its mechanisms and effects became a global priority. The Mariana Trench. The name itself evokes images of crushing darkness and mystery. It's the deepest gash on the Earth's surface, a crescent-shaped scar in the western Pacific Ocean floor. And within this trench lies the Challenger Deep, the absolute lowest point, plunging down nearly 11,000 meters or almost 7 miles. The pressure here is over 1,000 times that at sea level. Imagine the weight of a jumbo jet pressing down on every square inch of your body. No sunlight penetrates these depths. The water temperature hovers just above freezing. Yet, against all odds, 
Life exists here. Strange, wonderful, and uniquely adapted creatures call this abyss home. Bioluminescent organisms create their own light in the eternal darkness, using it to attract prey or mates. The eruption occurring so close to this unique Hadal zone raises serious concerns. The sheer force of the blast, the rain of hot ash and rock, and the release of toxic chemicals could have had a devastating impact on these fragile ecosystems. We know so little about life in the Challenger Deep. An event like this could destroy species before we even discover them. Exploring the Mariana Trench is an incredible challenge. Each expedition brings back new discoveries, new species, and a deeper appreciation for the resilience of life. Our planet's surface isn't a single solid shell. It's broken up into giant pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, albeit very slowly, about the speed your fingernails grow. They float on the semi-molten layer beneath them, the Earth's mantle. Where these plates meet, that's where the action happens. Mountains are pushed up, earthquakes shake the land, and volcanoes erupt. The Mariana Trench itself was formed by this process. The massive Pacific Plate is diving beneath the smaller Mariana Plate in a process called subduction. As the Pacific Plate sinks deeper into the mantle, it gets hotter and immense pressure builds. This creates magma molten rock. This magma is less dense than the solid rock around it, so it begins to rise like a hot air balloon. The pressure in these magma chambers can build up over centuries. Eventually, the rock overlying the magma chamber can no longer contain the force. This is the moment of eruption. The release of that pent-up pressure is incredibly violent, especially for underwater volcanoes where the magma interacts explosively with seawater. The forces involved are almost unimaginable. The Earth is constantly trying to release its internal heat, and volcanic eruptions are one of its most spectacular ways of doing so. When an underwater volcano erupts with enough force and ejects enough material, something incredible can happen. A new island can be born. As the molten rock, ash, and pumice spew from the volcanic vent, they can pile up on the seabed. If the volcano is close enough to the surface or if the eruption is massive enough, this pile can eventually break through the waves. Steam, smoke, and ash billow into the sky as the hot lava meets the cool ocean water. The creation of a new island is a relatively rare event but it's a fundamental process of how our planet changes. These volcanic islands often start as unstable piles of loose material, easily eroded by waves. But if the eruptions continue and lava flows begin to solidify, the island can become more permanent. The new land is initially barren, a sterile landscape of black rock and ash. But life is tenacious. The immediate impact on marine life around the site of such an eruption is, of course, devastating. The intense heat, toxic gases, and suffocating ash kill most organisms in the vicinity. However, over time, these volcanic areas can also become oases of life. Hydrothermal vents associated with volcanic activity release minerals from the Earth's interior. The eruption near the Challenger Deep, while unlikely to form a permanent island that quickly due to the extreme depth, has undoubtedly reshaped the seabed. Scientists will be studying these changes for years to come. This colossal eruption, originating from the shadowy depths near the Challenger Deep, serves as a profound and humbling lesson. It underscores the raw, untamed power that nature wields. We, as humans, often feel like masters of our domain, with our technology and our cities. But events like this strip away that illusion. They remind us that we live on a dynamic planet, subject to forces far beyond our control. The Earth can shift, crack, and explode with an intensity that dwarfs anything humanity can create. This power demands our respect, not our arrogance. Studying such extreme natural disasters is not just an academic exercise. It's crucial for our survival and understanding of the planet. Each eruption, each earthquake, each tsunami provides invaluable data. Scientists use this information to refine their models, improve early warning systems, and better understand the geological hazards that threaten communities around the world. The ongoing research into events like the Challenger Deep Eruption is of global importance. It pushes the boundaries of science and technology, developing instruments that can withstand the pressures of the deep ocean, creating autonomous vehicles to explore hazardous environments, and analyzing vast amounts of data require innovation and collaboration. Ultimately, the eruption near the world's deepest point is a stark reminder of nature's unpredictability. We can study, we can monitor, we can prepare, but we can never be entirely certain what the Earth will do next.
As the dust settles and the immediate chaos subsides, the arduous journey of recovery begins. Communities affected by the eruption near the Challenger Deep face immense challenges, but they also demonstrate incredible resilience. Families come together, neighbors help one another, and the global community steps in with aid and support. While the scars left by the disaster are deep, the human spirit proves to be deeper. Efforts to rebuild homes, restore infrastructure, and heal the environment are underway. International aid organizations, government agencies, and local volunteers work tirelessly, showing that in the face of nature's fury, humanity's compassion and solidarity shine through. This period of recovery is also a time for reflection and learning. Engineering teams assess the damage to improve future constructions, ensuring they are more resilient. Environmental scientists study the impact on local ecosystems, devising strategies to aid in their recovery. Communities develop better emergency preparedness plans, informed by the lessons learned from this catastrophe. The road to recovery is long and fraught with obstacles, but it is also a testament to human determination and innovation. From the depths of despair, hope emerges. The collaborative efforts to rebuild not only restore what was lost, but also fortify against future uncertainties. Pause 2 S. The Story of the Challenger Deep eruption is one of nature's overwhelming power and humanity's unwavering resolve. It reminds us that while we may be at the mercy of natural forces, our strength As the dust settles and the immediate chaos subsides, the arduous journey of recovery begins. Communities affected by the eruption near the Challenger Deep face immense challenges, but they also demonstrate incredible resilience. Families come together, neighbors help one another, and the global community steps in with aid and support. While the scars left by the disaster are deep, the human spirit proves to be deeper. Efforts to rebuild homes, restore infrastructure, and heal the environment are underway. International aid organizations, government agencies, and local volunteers work tirelessly, showing that in the face of nature's fury, humanity's compassion and solidarity shine through. This period of recovery is also a time for reflection and learning. Engineering teams assess the damage to improve future constructions, ensuring they are more resilient. Environmental scientists study the impact on local ecosystems, devising strategies to aid in their recovery. Communities develop better emergency preparedness plans, informed by the lessons learned from this catastrophe. The road to recovery is long and fraught with obstacles, but it is also a testament to human determination and innovation. From the depths of despair, hope emerges. The collaborative efforts to rebuild not only restore what was lost, but also fortify against future uncertainties. Pause 2 S. The Story of the Challenger Deep eruption is one of nature's overwhelming power and humanity's unwavering resolve. It reminds us that while we may be at the mercy of natural forces, our strength lies. As the world reflects on the powerful eruption near the Challenger Deep, focus shifts towards future precautions. Scientists, engineers, and policymakers are collaborating like never before. Cutting-edge technology is being harnessed to predict and mitigate the impact of similar disasters in the future. Advanced seismic monitoring systems are being developed, capable of providing earlier warnings and more accurate data. Satellite imagery and AI-driven analytics are revolutionizing our understanding of tectonic movements, enabling us to anticipate potential threats with greater precision. Governments across the globe are revisiting their emergency response frameworks, ensuring that resources are allocated efficiently and communication channels remain robust. Public awareness campaigns are being launched, emphasizing the importance of preparedness and swift action. Communities are being educated on evacuation procedures and drills are becoming a routine part of life in vulnerable regions. On an international scale, countries are forming coalitions to share research and resources reinforcing global resilience against natural disasters. The lessons learned from the Challenger Deep Eruption are not just a chapter in history, they are a blueprint for a safer future. As humanity stands at the crossroads of nature's unpredictability, our proactive measures and collective wisdom pave the way for a world that's not only prepared, but also united in the face of adversity. Pause to S. In the end, our greatest precaution is not just in the technology we develop or the plans we draft, but in the enduring spirit of cooperation and foresight that drives us towards a safer tomorrow.